After spending the weekend in the Swiss Alps, we finally made it to Stuttgart, Germany. From spending each day alone while Josh works during the day, to trying many, many pastries, to Christmas market. It's like a, it, I think the whole thing's like a urinal. After Christmas market. Dude, these are so good. After Christmas market, it was a week well spent in Germany. In order to get myself outside of my comfort zone, Josh left me with three challenges to make sure that I do within the next four days before we leave Europe. The first one is find the best coffee shop in the little square here, which easy money. I got that covered already. The second one is learn a new German phrase that could be useful. And then number three is actually kind of funny. He said, find me a German trinket I might actually like. Josh is very picky when it comes to like buying himself stuff, especially when it comes to souvenirs. I got myself a sweatshirt in Switzerland. It says Grindelwald. Isn't it so cute? But those are my three challenges for the week. And then in between, I'll be working. Definitely going to go check out the gym here. There is a sauna here as well. I kind of get to do this on my own, which is crazy but so fun. Oh my gosh, I have to talk about the travel day yesterday. It was crazy to say the least. The journey from Grindelwald to Stuttgart kind of became a little insane towards like the second half of things. We had a four hour stretch of train ride and it was perfect. Our next train ride that was supposed to be like 36 minutes quickly turned into a hour and 15 minute train ride. But the thing is, is that we didn't get a seat the whole time. We literally were standing right in front of the door that opens to the train because it was packed full oh. but like the train stopped on the track twice now the train is completely stopped like in the middle of the track and we're just all waiting for it to move and it's not moving and the train was already delayed a little bit then we had no idea how to like maneuver ourselves in the town so then what did we do after that basically we get to germany we don't know how the train systems work here. We go the wrong direction. This is where we started, and then I saw we were going the wrong direction. Dang it, dude. Hop on the other direction. Going into town. Hop on the other train. Oh, is it the right direction? Yes, it is. We go up the escalators. They're working all of a sudden. Yes. Get to our hotel. Oh, your name's not here. Frick. My name's Akbarad. Ah, oh, my name's Akbarad. Psych, nah, it's Tom. All right, we got you. Get into the room. Oh yeah, and then we get to the hotel and the contact that they have who is from Germany, he goes, here, try this. And in the lobby of the hotel, there's mold wine, which is warm wine. And like, he poured it for us. I smelled wine. I've never had like warm wine before, but it was just so cool. The breakfast culture here is amazing. I'm having a German pretzel for breakfast. I don't care. I don't know if I can express that enough. We were in awe of the breakfast in Switzerland of just like the buffet style with everything you can think of. And then we get here and it's the same exact thing. More of this, please, in every hotel and every household in America. Another thing to note is that today is Josh and I's two year wedding anniversary that we're spending in Europe. Like literally our wedding anniversary weekend was spent in the Swiss Alps, tobogganing and hiking amongst the most beautiful mountains in the world. I'm just so thankful. Can I just say that real quick? I am just so thankful for this life. God is so good, but it's just been such a great two years reflecting back on what him and I have been able to do. That means tonight him and I get to kind of go out by ourselves and have a really nice dinner together, just the two of us. I need to go work a little bit before heading outside. it's officially time to walk over to a local coffee shop. I'm a little bit nervous, but it's a two minute walk from the hotel. The coffee shop I'm going to is called Condessa Cafe and Bar. This coffee shop has pastries that look so good. Oh gosh, okay. Let's take a little walk over to the coffee shop. Challenge one, find a coffee shop. I've made it to the coffee shop. I got a cappuccino. This is like my fifth cappuccino in Europe. This is a chocolate strudel and it is just so delicious. It's apple and chocolate. It tastes like apple pie, but it has this like flaky crust around it. I'm truly living my best life.
that coffee shop was fantastic so i will be going back there for sure but consider challenge one done now i'm just kind of like walking around the town i am gonna need lunch at some point and josh did say that there's a market around here that i'll probably end up going to to grab a lunch and take back to the room and then i think i'm gonna hit up the gym but it is a beautiful day out here went to the grocery store got a sandwich it has salami a pickle lettuce and it looks like butter and i know it's gonna be amazing because every sandwich here is amazing yeah i don't lie i'm not wrong it's just good i don't know what is good about it it's just good so i'm gonna eat this and then go to the gym it is time to go to the gym check this place out i love new gyms at hotels and experience experiencing them for the first time, but I also really don't know where I'm going. I believe it's on the sixth floor. Check out the view. Oh my goodness. Look at the view of the city. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful it is. I want the view of the city, but I don't want to use the ellipticals. I want to use the treadmills. But here is the like sauna steam room open daily from 4 p.m to 10 p.m so then this is the room for the sauna oh yeah 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 so then this is the sauna room i'm gonna have to come back i like four because my shoulders now that i understand the layout let's go work out We can go out to the little top here. And then we have this view. Oh my gosh. This is unbelievable. Like, it's just, why is it so beautiful here? I can't get over it. These buildings are out of this world. It is 3.53 and Josh is texting me that they're on their way back already. And then we're gonna go out to dinner tonight to, I think we chose an Italian restaurant because we are gonna go to a German restaurant with his coworkers either tomorrow, Wednesday, or I guess, yeah, just tomorrow or Wednesday. And we go going to get Italian and then Christmas market. It's good, it tastes like a Cabernet. I love artichoke. It's delicious. So good. Delicious. What's the least number of base foods you could live off of if you had infinite number of sauces? So any sauce you can think of. I said I could live off of chicken, bread, and uh, pasta. You can make so much with sauces. are walking the streets of the Christmas market here in town. Since we're here around Christmas, it's prime time for the Christmas markets. It's beautiful, there are lights lit everywhere, and each of the little huts that are set up with the little vendors have decorations on top of the roofs, and it's just amazing. I'm so out of my element. I feel like I'm like cutting people, I'm in the way. I'm, it's just one big blob. I have to like keep stepping away from it to get out of it. Erica was like, we look like confused tourists. I was like, it's because we are confused tourists. <laughs> I like kind of had to pee when we left the restaurant. But I was like, ah, I'll be fine. I'll just find a bathroom somewhere. And then we like couldn't find one in some of the stores. So I like Googled it and there was one like 600 feet away. So we went to it and it says 50 cents. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have 50 cents of German money. But then I was just like, sprechen Sie English. And then I was like, you take a dollar. And they're like, yeah, here's, and so I gave him a dollar. I walk into the bathroom and it kind of looks just like marble wall with a couple with drains on the floor I'm like is this where I go and there was a guy like standing waiting for the actual the stalls he was waiting for a stall and I was like I gotta go so I just like went on the, what I think is a urinal but, you did yeah it's like a, it, I think the whole thing's like a urinal dude what if it wasn't please <laughs> try to pee on the floor I didn't there was drains like oh. it, it looked there was like cleaners it was definitely like a, a full wall urinal <laughs> Gosh. Some of the main things that we see here, number one, chocolate, and like chocolate covered blank. Number two, candied nuts are everywhere. Number three, these mugs with warm 
something in it. We can't. <laughs> I I've a seen hot, a couple different things. I think cider or hot chocolate with whipped cream on it, or coffee, or like something alcoholic. I don't know. There's a lot of variations. Also saw some like sausages, obviously. Thank you. Thank you. And then a lot of like little trinket things. And it looks like you need your rose. I think we're gonna have to come back here tomorrow with uh, the German contact that Josh has and for his work. And euros. And euros. Yes, we need to exchange our money. <laughs> Today, I really want to try to figure out a useful phrase, and I think I know what I want to know how to say. There have been multiple times where I've needed to like get past people and needed to say like, excuse me, or like, pardon me, I'm sorry. We didn't know how that like would translate in the German language. So I think I'm gonna try to ask someone today how I can say, excuse me, if I'm trying to get through or past somebody, because I've needed to use that term quite a lot this trip. There is some really bad weather coming through the US on Friday, which is when we fly back home. It looks like we are going to try to bump our flight up a day. Anyways, I need to get out of this room. I've been working all morning. I'm at the coffee shop and I asked how you say excuse me. If I'm in like a crowd of people and I want to like politely get through and I want to say like excuse me, how would I say that in German? She said that most people will just say sorry, but if I wanted to say it more like pardon me, it would be ent. I have been sitting here for about an hour or so, maybe 45 minutes, and I worked a bit. Now I'm gonna head back over to the market to get a few pastries for Josh and I to try. The amount of pastries I've had here is out of this world. Number one, look at that, okay? Oh gosh. I mean, it's a donut. Oh, um, and it's filled. Mm -hmm. Wow, I gotta go to the gym. That is so good. We have a second one. Are we serious right now? Mmm, there's like apples in this and cinnamon and nuts and it's like that glazed flavor and texture and it's flaky. We did end up changing our flight to Thursday instead of Friday to go back home. Looks like we will have one last day here. Josh is now on his way home and then home. Josh is on his way to the hotel. <laughs> on his way home. And then we're gonna go to dinner and hopefully get to see the Christmas market tonight, whether it be the one here in town or the one over in Esslingen. So. We got our money. Off to the market, round two, baby. Welcome to the Christmas market, where you want everything you pass by and it quickly turns into a food tour. We started off strong by figuring out what was in those mystery cups. It's actually mulled wine and bonus, these cups were gifted to us and we're so thankful for that. Josh's coworker got us some mulled wine in these glasses. So cute. Then we had something called Rybakuken, which are these crispy hash brown potato pancakes. And the traditional way to eat them is simply by dipping them in, for lack of better words, applesauce. Trust us, it's amazing. The craftsmanship is superb. Of course, the main event, we got two sausages to try. Dude, these are so good. This is literally like what we have been waiting for this whole time is this. Well, I guess a schnitzel too, but we haven't really gotten to eat that yet, but these are so good. I don't even know which, that one tastes like a hot dog. This one tastes kind of like a chicken sausage, but they're so good. And then to finish off the night with a treat, we got bomb streisel, which is this hollow dough sprinkled with cinnamon sugar. Josh just asked me if I want to share the dessert. Does he know me? That is delicious. Oh my god. Description? Warm cinnamon sugar meets flaky dough meets hollow center meets crispy. Pretty much, that's the description. This was the perfect way to end the night at the market. First we got back from the German market. It is huge. It really puts you in the Christmas mood, which is great. And the mold wine that came in our little souvenir glass, which is amazing. We saw people walking around with other souvenir glasses. A lot of these little red mugs, but we got this one and our German host basically got it and said, yeah, you can keep this as a souvenir. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. What they do is you pay a deposit and you use it. You can carry it around to a bunch of different booths and refill it if you want with other things and use it and take it home. And if you return it to any of these booths, you get your deposit back. So we wanted to keep ours, but you could return it and get your deposit back. I think this is wool or alpaca. There were some alpaca socks and Super weech. Does this count as my trinket? 
This is my useful trinket. Some wool socks I can use for skiing is a good, good find. I will give this mission a check. Yay. Good morning. Here's the general plan for today. Today is our last day in Germany. We are hopping on a train tonight and heading to Zurich to fly out tomorrow from Zurich. Today, Josh and his coworkers are about 90 minutes away at a meeting. Then they are gonna come back towards this way, but stop at the Christmas market in Esslingen, which means your girl has to get an Uber 40 minutes away by herself. So apparently the Christmas market in Stuttgart is the biggest Christmas market in Germany the Christmas market in Esslingen is better than the one here. So it's like bigger or better, you know? We're, we're gonna find out. <laughs> to top it all off, I check out of our hotel room at 11 and then I'm moving our stuff over to Josh's CEO's hotel room. <laughs> and myself. Wish me luck. I'm a little bit nervous about the Uber, if I'm being completely honest. <sighs> This video has turned into one big old German food tour. I got a salad and they gave me three pieces of bread. Awesome, love it. Here's where the problem lies. I don't have a fork and I didn't think about it to like ask. So I think I'm gonna eat it with a spoon. Sorry to Josh's CEO, I'm gonna take his spoon. Hold on. What I really wanted to get is a pretzel. Lovely, beautiful. Oh, so freaking good. Tastes like a pretzel, but like a very, very, very good pretzel. I don't know what this dressing is. It's definitely ranch, but like the best ranch in the world. <gasps> the pretzel in the ranch. Dude, that is good. Homemade ranch and a good pretzel. Oh, wow. Here's the salad, love it. <gasps> oh no, dropped it on my laptop. That is what I needed. I need a crispiness because I only have a short amount of time left in this city. I was looking out the window and I was just thinking to myself, man, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be back to Stuttgart, Germany specifically. I need to go like sit in the middle of the square and just watch the town and just enjoy the last of my time here solo during the day. app. I don't know what the time means, whether it means when the Uber driver gets here or when we get there to our destination. Then right next to 3.38 p.m. it says 11 minutes away. I'm confused because then that time keeps changing. Oh gosh, I'm so confused. Why is it $50? I just, I don't get it. I texted Josh. I'm just nervous that I'm going to do the wrong thing and then also get kidnapped. It's fine. Josh gave me an address to put in for Uber put it in and it's nowhere near where he is <laughs> and I don't know where to go I'm going the wrong way I'm a 10 minute walk from where Josh and his co-workers are but at least I'm in a safe location oh I feel so safe this is a great town it's so beautiful honestly probably more beautiful than the where we've been in Stuttgart I found Josh and if this isn't the European town that you dream of when you think of European towns, I don't know what is. The buildings are beautiful. The Christmas market is so charming. The lights all around make it even better. We are living our dream life right now. Esslingen is a medieval town and its market is a truly unique experience. Again, we started with a delicious sausage. That bread I think is even better. Similar to what we got last night though. Tastes like a bratwurst, but with more seasoning. This one's getting a little like grassy, not, not grassy, but like herby, I guess. For the first time on this trip, we finally got a beer to split. <laughs> How does it taste? Like a classic beer. Yeah, that's like a, that's a beer, you know? Like, it's like a, it's beer. a beer. It tastes like a beer. We tried a handful of chestnuts. All right, mom, this one's for you. They literally have chestnuts roasting on an open fire here. Not in the microwave. Cheers to you. We would love it. Mm. And then Josh found this stand with this delicious looking dough with sauce and cheese as well as this pastry thing all right we have no clue what this is uh, we should probably go pizza look. you hold this while i eat this one. Oh gosh <laughs> tastes like a pizza it's different it has it's german 
It's a different bread and dough. It has different seasonings. I don't all know what this one is either, but I'm gonna find out in a second. Looks okay. like a German cinnamon Insert roll. Insert name here. The chocolatey. I'm gonna go second, but hold on. What is that flavor? Chocolate, I think. Cocoa? Mm -mm. Cinnamon? Mm -mm. Butter? Mm -mm. That's like poppy seeds, I think. It is, look. So is it not sweet? Is it more of a savory? It's not super sweet. It's also not super savory. And then to end the night, of course, dessert. These look really good. This one specifically is called a mandel mandelbollen. Man mandelbollen. What is she? She's chocolate. She's nuts. Nuts. And she is some sort of crispy dough. That's really good. It tastes like similar to a um, mm, fortune cookie <laughs> with chocolate and nuts on top. Very good. The same texture though of the crunch of a fortune cookie. Basically a pizza, a chocolate covered pizza with nuts maybe.